Hey, so today we're going to do a product tutorial on the Foamworks Straight and Bevel Edge Cutter. This is a shout out to um, Cosmic Ash Studios for the recommendation, so I figured I'd talk about it, my experience with it, because I really love this product. Um, the maker is, uh, I believe, Logan Brand. I'll link the uh, site below. Uh, through their site you can find suppliers of their products. They're rather hard to find. I live in North Seattle and um, there was only three retailers in the greater Seattle area for me to choose from. But um, it was really worth going out and finding it because the product, at least this one, was only $12 roughly with tax. Is one of the sharpest blades I've ever used. It cuts like butter. Some other ones I found were like $25, $45 and it was insane. So for the price, this is incredible. Let's show you how it works. So I currently have this um, piece of armor. This goes on the back of a boot actually. And this is an example of what it looks like when it's done. Now as you can see, it's, it's a curved piece that has to be sanded down to lie flush with the under piece of foam. Having a bevel cutter makes this project really super simple. So as you can see, I'm just drawing out the patterns here and then I cut away. So now generally what I do is I take the Dremel and I smooth out the bevel edge and I integrate it into the rest from um, edge to edge so that it's a consistent smooth edge instead of, you know, obviously stopping here in the middle. But a Dremel tool is beautiful um, for that. You just have to go with the rotation of the Dremel and not against it. So you just sort of let the Dremel fall almost because the Dremel rotates this way. So if you if you try to work against the rotation of the Dremel, you're going to take off a lot of material. So definitely practice um, on scraps of foam first before you um, take a Dremel to a project or any, any power tool to a project just because uh, there's a high probability of you not really knowing how to work the power tool and, uh, <laughs> and messing up. So um, I'm going to switch out to a different grit because this is way coarser and takes off way more material. Now as you can see, this was my first uh, demonstration and then I showed you that I flipped the blade around to get a fresh braid, <laughs> braid, uh, <laughs> a fresh blade and as you can see, a huge difference um, in the cut. <laughs> 